Hey guys, Slev here, and welcome to Day 1, the video series where I introduce new players to some of the mechanics of Planetside. Today, as the title says, we are looking at the Track 5 and the TX-1, the starter weapons of the Terran Republic Light Assault class. So, let's jump right into it and look at these guns. So... The Track 5 is a carbine, and it's got a pretty easy to learn recoil pattern. So as you can see, it pulls up and to the right, and it will always follow this pattern. So the easiest way to counter that is just to pull against it. The other thing I'd like to point out is that your sight will return to where it started after you stop shooting. So here, I'm adjusting my recoil by pulling down and to the left, and as you can see, I get a pretty tight pattern on that dummy. So remember, to counter the recoil, you just need to pull in the opposite direction. So here I'm shooting from a little bit further away, but I'm still able to get a pretty tight grouping as long as I counter the recoil. Now. Starting about at this range is when I would probably begin burst firing, but you don't have to. As you can see, I'm bursting from the hip here. Hip firing, if you don't know, is when you don't sight your weapon, you just fire it. It's not as accurate, but the Track 5 features a pretty nice cone of fire, even from the hip. So just one more burst here to show that even at range, you can get some pretty good accuracy. And as we can see the grouping, we easily got at least half of our mag into the target, which is very helpful. So now I switched to showing some of the attachments here. This is the one times reflex sight. It's got the same magnification as your iron sight, but it's a red dot rather than the iron sight. Now I prefer the iron sights, but that's really just a personal preference. You can use the red dot if you like. So next up, we have the two times sight, which is the same as the regular red dot, but it doubles your magnification. For the track 5, I don't necessarily recommend this, but you can use it if you'd like. So next we have the IRNV, or infrared, which this doesn't show it very well, but as you can see from here, it lights up friendlies and enemies bright white. We now have the silencer, which you can hear is really silencing your weapon. It also makes your hipfire accuracy a little worse. Then we have the flash hider, which makes your hipfire slightly worse, but it hides the flashing of your gun, which can be helpful in, not in nighttime situations. Now we have the foregrip, as you can see on the gun right there. The foregrip reduces your horizontal recoil, so the left to right pull of the gun. And as you can see, the though we're still pulling up and to the right, it's not as severe, and that's what the foregrip does. And finally, we have the laser sight. The laser sight makes your hip fire more accurate. And now we've got the TX-1 Emperor. This is the spammable gun that can kill things. As you can see, it's got a very easy straight up recoil, so you just need to pull down to counter. And it's also important to note that this is a three shot burst weapon. Now, as you can see, when you're moving from the hip, not quite as accurate. Then we have the grenade, which works like any grenade in any game. It explodes, it hurts people. And then we have the knife, which is an instant hit. So, let's look at the damage of the Track 5 here. As you can see, it takes 7 shots to the chest up close to get a kill. That's not bad, considering the rate of fire. So we're going to do it again, and you'll note, 7 shots gets the kill. And that's not terrible. Now, if we're aiming for the head, it takes 4 shots, which is a little weak, admittedly. So now we're going to try using this gun from further ranges. You'll see at this range it takes us 8 shots to get the kill, and we're going to continue to move out further, and I'll say now, it takes 9 shots at further ranges to get the kills. 
The other thing you'll note here is that you heard my character yelling. I just press Q to spot the enemy. This is similar to Battlefield and other spotting games, where you can light the enemy up with a name over their head. The reason I'm doing that at this range is because it's very difficult to see the enemy from this far away. So having that red name and triangle, or the Dorito as we call it, is incredibly helpful. And as you'll note, it still only takes 9 shots to get the kill, even from this far away. So now, the pistol is a pretty fast killing weapon. It takes 3 bursts point blank, and as soon as this spawns, you'll see it takes 2 bursts to the head, and that's if all the bullets hit. But chances are you'll be moving when using this pistol, and you'll also be bursting it much faster. However, the vertical recoil can really help in getting headshots with it. So, as you can see, it's not a bad weapon, and it kills pretty quickly. And that's one important thing to note, is the TX-1 is a great sidearm. And finally, we have the knife. The knife takes two swipes to kill from full health. Now, with the pistol, if we get a burst and a knife, it's not enough to get the kill. It requires two bursts and a knife. Now, from the track 5, it takes a knife, and a shot to the head will get a kill. Or, two shots to the chest and a knife will also get the kill. Or, excuse me, three. Can't even count. Anyway, this has just been a quick introduction to Day 1 as a Terran Soldier, a Light Assault. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe below. Follow me on Twitter at Stygis. You can add me in-game. I list all my characters below. And, as always, have a nice day.